Let me tell y'all why the American Bully Breed will not be better. And it's simple. Because the XL standard is already set. We just ain't following it. So, let me explain. Everybody got their own vision. And I don't I don't disagree with that. Like, people don't want real big dogs and people don't want real skinny dogs. But when you think of a bully, you think about somebody that scares people, is bigger than everybody, and just really just looks strong and looks aggressive. That's what an American bully supposed to look like. Strong muscles, like like a like a weightlifter, like a power lifter, you know. But we then we got people with skinny dogs. <clears throat> they get mad when you say they dog skinny, they ain't got no chest, they ain't got no muscle man, they ain't got no head. And they they, they, get, they get upset and call it athletic dog. But in all honesty, it's just a dog that shouldn't be bred. So when we doing that and allowing these breeders to sell dogs that shouldn't be bred, selling them with breeding rights, that's when we messing up because all dogs shouldn't be sold with breeding rights. You feel me? So once we stop selling dogs with breeding rights, then everybody can't breed. Then that's that's when the, the market will start back to be unsaturated. So we got all kind of, all type of dogs all in the market. So we got guys thinking dogs just big, and we have dogs with sloppy face, no tight skin, just really just a big head with sloppy, sloppy face and skin sagging everywhere. It's not a bully. That's that's more leaning toward the bulldog features. Bully gonna be the tight skin, big chest, big head. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's the mixture of all of it together. Not just having one side of the of the dog rail how it was how it was built because it was mixed with the terrier the wood all, all types of dogs that are mixed in to make the xl to make the american bully so the standard is set like that's the vision we just gotta follow it you feel me we just gotta follow it so once we follow the standard everybody gonna be good but you know that ain't everybody video so we can't keep complaining about xl's xl market saturated xl's ain't got no 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 no, no consistent look. The XL has a consistent look. We just don't want to follow because we don't like being told that our dog is not what it's supposed to be look like. Cause I look, my girl, she about 80 pounds on a good day, 70, 70, 80 in a good day. And she doesn't have a big head. She don't have a wide chest. She don't have the exaggerated features, but she have the features, they just aren't exaggerated. That's when you get into the extreme. So, the XL has a vision. Like, people have some beautiful dogs, people have some big dogs, people have some freaks. But the standard is set. We just gotta follow it. Now, now, once everybody get on the same page, then we're gonna be good. But a lot of people in this for money. So, you want that freak, gonna get you a freak dog. You want you a big dog, fat dog, gonna get you a fat dog. You want an athletic dog, don't get you a skinny dog. But I'm telling you, you can get you a dog that's 120 pounds, big, got the head, got the bone, got the muscle, got all the features you want, 120, 130, 140 pound dog, 115 pound dog, and that dog will be athletic. You just gotta be the trainer. And that's all it is to it, man. Smith's blue dog.